everybody and welcome back to Hex Token, your host Superman in the house. I hope you guys are doing great out there. Uh, I feel like we're going to have a bit of volatility before we have the awesomeness later on in December. December is going to be, I don't know, it feels like a, a two halves to December. Uh, so uh, let's wait and see how that plays out. So I hope you guys are enjoying yourself. Here we are on Hex.com. Of course, uh, where it all began with the uh, founder, Richard Hart, of course. And we're going to get into a lot of cool stuff. We can get into the latest update from the Highest of Stakes movie, the end of year update, and talk about that straight off the bat. We're not waiting for later on. We're going to uh, head off with that. Then we get into the stock market results overnight uh, for, what was it, Wednesday? Oh, it's got to be tricky because uh, we're in a day ahead here in good old New Zealand at the bottom of the world. So uh, it's a little bit uh, funny like that. We're going to get a pivot from there into crypto and then get, of course, into Hex ecosystem and many of the other cool projects. We're going to have a look at a couple of the sacrifices as well. Uh, that are kind of uh, top tier, what I call top tier utility sacrifices. We're going to look at that as well as the hex daily stats. So stay up, uh, up, uh, stay tuned for all that stuff coming down the line. Let's get in the house and see who is here. Uh, we've got a couple of people already. We've got Element Hex in the house. Good to see you. Uh, BC in the Matrix was first in the in the queue there. And Sarah G, bring on Testnet V3. Yeah, I'm me too, man. I am super psyched for that, Sarah. Absolutely. And Jenna runs in the house as well. Good morning. Beautiful weather. That's good to hear. It's actually pretty nice here. A little bit windy, uh, but uh, summer is just starting to eke itself out. Uh, we've had some, um, some unusual kind of uh, stormy weather, as it were. Jenna says, good morning. Beautiful weather. Absolutely. Rango's in the house there. Good morning. My favorite people. Hey, Rango. Always the same there, a.k.a. Hex Sushi. Good to see Rango in the house. Brennan as well. Howdy, Superman. Good to see Brennan. Uh, I'm still meaning to do uh, a whole ton of the dats. I want to just do a live stream going through all the top utility dats that are currently on Testnet. I was hoping that Power City would be out too, but uh, it doesn't seem to be out uh, when they said it was going to be. I will just have to wait patiently for that. Uh, I know that they're probably waiting for the Testnet V3 now. Uh, that's probably what they're waiting for. Element Hex in the house there. Hello from Tampa, Florida. Good to see Element Hex from Florida. And, of course, a big shout-out to you in Tampa, Florida. I have actually been to Tampa, Florida, Element Hex, when I was Sweet 16. Yes, you heard it, Sweet 16. And it was a bit of a, quite the adventure at the time. Uh, and uh, yeah, got to see, see some cool things uh, as well. Uh, hey, hey, super good to see you, Kato. And uh, we got John Smith watching from Australia. Aussie, 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 oi, 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 Aussie, 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 oi, 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 Aussie, oi, Aussie, oi, Aussie, 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 oi, oi, oi. Welcome, John Smith from Australia. And we got Tufan in the house as well. Howdy, suit man. Good to see you, Tufan, as well. All right, so uh, cool. Let's get in it. We've got Hex.com. We're going to get into the uh, stock market updates. Uh, before we do, after we do that, we're going to do the highest stakes first, though. Um, and, of course, uh, let's get into it. So this is only a few hours old. And, of course, uh, we've got the end of the year update here, only about five, six hours old. End of the year update. The highest stakes is now finished. And so what they mean is that the music's probably been added in as well. Remember, the last thing they did was the music score. that uh, finished the film. Uh, they typically they make some, make some post-edits. Uh, but, of course, then they did that big 30-piece score as well. And uh, so that's probably been included now into the whole movie. Uh, and, of course, you know how important music is. It's so powerful uh, to a whole film and stuff like that. So it's going to really elevate it. Uh, people said it without the music was absolutely fantastic. So you can imagine with the music, it's going to be something special. And, of course, these guys are Emmy Award winning, aren't they? Five, I think they've got five awards like that. Uh, so these guys are top notch. Uh, we're in the process of working towards a sales deal. Uh, and they've probably been doing that for some months now, uh, what we call in the distribution phase there, and that can take a bit of time. Uh, so I think they're still on track for Q1. I think something like Q1, maybe Q2 uh, of 2023. Now, we promise, they say, any big updates on where to see the form, you will hear from us first. In other words, uh, a bit like with Pulse Chain and Hex, uh, you hear it from Richard Hart. Well, in terms of this movie, uh, you hear it from the highest stakes team as well. Don't believe everything you read, folks, as well. Obviously, a lot of people put out some silly stuff. Uh, and, of course, they don't substantiate it, right? So uh, hear it from the source is the way to go. But like Pulse Chain, if you hear some rumors around Pulse Chain, you want to have a good source behind it, or you want to hear it from Richard Hart, ultimately, uh, depending on what's happening with testnet and launches and things like that. Now, here's a friendly reminder just after that post. Friendly reminder, Richard Hart win, or Richard Hart has no control in the movie, and the movie has no association with the launch of Pulse Chain. All right, let's read that again. Uh, friendly reminder, uh, uh, Richard Hart has no control over the movie. It's independent. And the movie has no association with the launch of Pulse Chain. So very important uh, caveats there as well. Now, we did hear Richard Hart in the Twitter space a couple of days ago 
uh, talking about that he wished that the movie was out already, uh, which was kind of, uh, was that a bullish sign for Testnet V3? Uh, you decide, you decide. Uh, but of course, uh, wanting to talk about that. You also talked about the time frame. He said his devs had certain time frames, uh, but he wasn't uh, completely uh, agreeing with what they uh, were saying. But hey, if they deliver the time frames, they deliver the time frames. And of course, that links us back to uh, uh, the Power City team talking about uh, the devs uh, telling uh, some of the other, uh, some sorry, the, yeah, the, the uh, developers of Pulse Chain uh, telling some of the devs and the Power City team uh, pretty much, or Pulse X, around Pulse X as well. Uh, teams that uh, just wait a couple of weeks um, and you might see V3 pretty much. So uh, we're hoping to get that. Man, Christmas would be beautiful. What a present. Uh, you know, we might have some rough patch uh, leading up into the middle of this month with the Fed Reserve, uh, but uh, the second half could be very bullish for Hex ecosystem in particular uh, if we get this testnet V3 up. Uh, and of course, uh, pretty fun there. Now, I did see Randy Hilaski put out a tweet as well uh, with his little video giving some pump and mentals. Uh, around the price of hex, he's talking about maybe he th thinks that if the e proof of stake comes out, we could get a 2x or even a 3x or something like that. Uh, so there's a little video running around that uh, doing a great job as Randy. And of course, uh, yeah, I've, I've been in that camp too that uh, this is not the old proof of work, uh, you know, test net. This is going to be the proof of stake, which is a big deal. And we're going to talk more about that when we get the hex chart. So stay tuned for that. All right. So cool. That is the update for the highest of stakes. And of course, let's have a little flashback of the last thing that was really done around the production, uh, which was pretty cool. So let's have a quick look at that. Uh, we had, obviously, the music score, which was really the, probably the last thing to go in there because uh, the film had mostly been finished on the edits. They said it had been finished. Obviously, sometimes they do some post-edits and things like that. Uh, but here is the music score, uh, and you can see how cool this is going to be for the highest of stakes. <laughs> So you can see that that really elevates it, doesn't it? It does elevates that having a score to your mo your movie documentary is just so big, such a big deal. Uh, so we're going to wait patiently, but uh, yeah, I think it's Q1 uh, 2023 that is, is, is due. Now we've had we've had a, uh, a pulse chain, so we've had a highest of stakes uh, teaser out for a long time. It's, it got slightly updated as well, um, but uh, that's kind of uh, based on an antagonistic type of thing about the old FUD that, that uh, Highest of Stakes used to get. And interesting, of course, there's a video recently uh, talking about a new video uh, talking about Hex as a cult and stuff like that, which is so funny. Uh, you know, crypto is pretty tribalistic anyway, right? So it's kind of funny, the videos like that. And of course, they have they string a whole ton of things. They go all over the place and try to pull, pull old stuff that's been talked about for three years. Yeah, I remember Hex is now in its fourth year and it's only getting better. As you guys know, I cover all the fundamentals on this channel. Uh, which is pretty hilarious. But let's have a look back, flashback at the highest of stakes teaser that's been around. And of course, uh, imagine seeing the whole form. We've seen feedback from a lot of people involved saying that it looks really, really, really good. And now with the score, uh, it's going to be even elevated even more. So excited about that. Let's quickly have a look at the teaser, uh, which is a bit of a flashback really in Hex history. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Yes, every scammer in the world is going to tell you something similar. But in this case, you are actually going to have regret. <laughs> I mean, you're scamming everyone. Richard Hart, he's got a history of being called the spam master. There's yeah, some weird things going on with his coins. Making one of the biggest Ponzi schemes that we have ever seen. Hex coin is 1,000% a scam coin. People are going to lose money because of you. Remember all the haters? All the haters that told you that I was a scammer and Hex was a scam? I got bad news for the haters. We're making new all-time highs where everything else is getting wrecked. Price is up four or 5,000 fold in 600 days. It 
I've made enough money in the last week that I could buy a house in cash. I would never have to work another day in my life. I'm here to shell. I want to change the world, and I can only do that if people participate. The only thing that matters in this world is goods and services. Everything else is accounting. And our made-up imaginary internet money is better than the government's made-up imaginary internet money. Both of them are only backed by the shared fiction of the humans believing that they have value. If Hex is a religion, then Richard is God. I'm in crypto for glory. I want to have the best cryptocurrency that's ever existed. I want to have the best performing asset that's ever existed. And so I think of blockchain as like the internet. In the 90s, everyone thought the internet was just for email. <laughs> I bought some this morning. They're imaginary quarters. Like, it's like playing Monopoly. I put it all in. I put, I mean, I went. Like, all of what? <laughs> all of our house money. This is a force that is not going to go away. The cryptocurrency is not going away. And at some point, the people that you met that you thought were crazy loon birds, they're gonna be in the 1%, and they're gonna be the people that own half everything. So uh, you can see just some of the excitement. So I mentioned the movie's been much more magnified than even the teaser was. But it's gonna be a lot of fun to see that play out for sure. So really looking forward to that. So that's kind of the latest update for the heist of stakes. And of course, uh, looking pretty much, I think, around about next next quarter uh, and next year will be probably hopefully the timeline they hit and uh, we get some deals now. Obviously, we're looking for big streamers uh, in you know, Hulu or Disney or uh, uh, Netflix, something like that. So uh, let's see uh, how they get on with that. They have the credentials. They have the quality of product. Uh, and of course, I think there's a big market gap uh, amongst crypto videos. I haven't seen a decent crypto video probably since the first uh, uh, first Bitcoin video I ever saw. And of course, that was in context at the time. Um, I know that Coinbase did a promo one, propaganda one, if you want to put it that way. Uh, but really having a proper sort of a movie film documentary is going to be huge. And of course, Hex is going to front run that. Uh, it's going to be epic. Uh, you never know, you might get a sequel as well, right? Might get a sequel. Uh, that's pretty. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Let's jump away, though, into uh, the uh, market results for the stock market for Wednesday in the U.S., and of course, uh, let's get into that. So the S and P 500 slips as a recession fears bite. Notice how they changed the narrative. So we moved from say for the Fed uh, now into recession again. So uh, this is kind of where we're heading. Uh, let's have a talk about that. Uh, we're going to got the Dow Jones top and 30 industrials is uh, pretty much flat uh, at 33,597. We've got the S and P 500 is uh, down two tenths of a percent. So not a big move today. Uh, and of course, sitting at 3,933, uh, down seven points in Nasdaq. Uh, down half percent with all the tech companies in it, uh, down 56 points to 10,958, just breaking uh, that 11,000 mark there. Uh, with the US dollar, though, down as well, almost four tenths of a percent, down uh, 0 0.39 to 105.15 on the index. And let's jump to the commodities. Uh, we've got oil, which is, keeps coming down, right? Uh, we know that they've put this uh, $60 barrel price on Russia, uh, but uh, we're going to see how, how well that gets enforced, right? Because they're just going to ignore it. Um, as, and I mentioned a lot of the trading buttons will do too. too. Um, so uh, like China and places like that. So we got uh, a crude oil there is at $72.50. We've got Brent there at $77.34, down 2.5%. So nice there. And if we look, have a look at the month, uh, you know, we were way up at $98. So we're down at 77 So, you know, about a $20 decrease in a month. That's pretty dramatic. That's pretty dramatic. Uh, in absolute terms and relative terms, pretty big deal. Uh, they've got gold here at 1798, almost at 1800. And of course, looking at that over the month, that's really had a pretty of a nice rally over the month for sure. And we've got silver there up 56 cents, 2.5 percent. And it's had a bit of volatility lately, but definitely been climbing uh, the $23. Now, I've talked about that several times uh, with Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Kiyosaki. He posted a tweet again the other day talking about silver. Uh, and obviously, he's waiting for a Fed pivot. Now, I think that's going to be some way off. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, that would mean a decrease, decline the US dollar, and then a rally in silver. And uh, that would be interesting to see. Would they get a 5X, aim up to 25X he had? Uh, certainly has moved higher. Um, so, uh, you know, it was way down here at the $20 only a month ago. So we'll see how that goes there. Now, uh, we've, that's pretty much the, the markets. Let's go to the commentary. The S&P 500 slipped Wednesday, led by tech, as the bond market continued to sound the alarm on a recession. 
souring investor sentiment on stocks. Uh, the two uh, to 10 year treasury yield curve inverted is the short time frame and the long time frame, the two year and the 10 year uh, curve inverted uh, by 82 basis points, the biggest inversion in four decades, signaling increasing concerns about the potential recession. As the economy moves towards official recession in the months ahead, we believe the equity markets will start to price in the severity of the recession. And basically, this uh, is the idea that uh, you get a deflationary environment, particularly and you've got a, a reducing GDP. We've got GDP coming out uh, towards the end of December there. And of course, uh, you will end up having a lot that will flow into lower corporate earnings, and therefore lower uh, valuations. So we'll see how that plays out. Against the backdrop of growing recession fears, big tech continued to struggle with Alphabet and Apple falling more than 1%. Uh, treasure and leisure stocks were also wa- wounded by fears about the impact of recession on the consumer. Obviously, th- in the US, the consumer makes two-thirds of GDP. Um, so it's a, that's a huge, huge thing uh, in terms of the consumer side of things. Uh, energy stocks were flat, struggling, struggling, shrugging off, sorry, I should say, a more than 2% slump in crude following data showing surprise increase in US Weekly crude stockpiles offsetting somewhat positive news about demand as China eases C-19 restrictions. Uh, so we had a few uh, decent things happening there. Let's jump over to some of the bottom here. We've got in a sign of skittish investment sentiment on risk assets, defensive corners of the market, including healthcare and consumer stables, were in favour. Uh, so they're kind of a partial hedge, aren't they, uh, if you're getting a, a, in risk off assets there. So uh, uh, you can think about that yourself. We talk about, obviously, US dollar, talk about gold and silver, Uh, things like that. We talk about bond markets in terms of risk off, uh, but also you have some defensive uh, stocks there as well in the healthcare and consumer, which are a bit more resistant uh, as well, because you're coming down to uh, things that people need, right? Necessities rather than wants, as opposed as it were. That's kind of the highlights there. Uh, Let's jump over to uh, some of the crypto news, which is pivoting in here. Uh, Crypto lender Genesis tells client it is working to preserve their assets. Obviously, we talked about the FTX contagion, and, of course, uh, there seems to be a bit more call uh, for the FTX founder to uh, face some, uh, at least a, 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 some court, uh, court and justice there. Uh, we'll see what that means uh, in due course. Crypto lender Genesis tells client that is working to preserve their assets. Obviously, very, very big to contain this contagion. We don't really want all of these ones going into Chapter 11 liquidation, uh, if we can help it, uh, because, obviously, that's going to tank the market further. So, uh, uh, I don't know. Some people like want that. Uh, it's been... Uh, certainly there's pos, pros and cons to it, um, but of course uh, people's money, people's lives get wrecked, so if they can protect the assets of the people, that's a good thing, right? Uh, US crypto firm Genesis is working to preserve client assets and strength, strengthen liquidity, it said in a letter to clients on Wednesday, adding that it would take weeks it would take weeks rather than days to form a plan. Genesis lending arm um, Genesis Global Capital froze customer withdrawals on November the 16th citing unprecedented market dislocation following the collapse of major crypto exchange FTX. Genesis, owned by venture capital firm and digital currency group DCG, said last week it was seeking to avoid bankruptcy filing. So hopefully I think that would be great. Uh, now, typically you want, um, in a bear market, you want bad products uh, to fall to the wayside because you want to keep, you want to have the quality ones still standing. Uh, but in this case, you know, this is possibly one of the quality ones if they can get, preserve their balance sheet. Uh, and of course, uh, maybe they'll learn their lessons from, uh, the, the FTX. So uh, let's see how that how that goes. Working in consultation with the highly experienced advisors and in close collaboration with our owner DCG, we are evaluating the most effective path uh, to preserve client assets, strengthening our liquidity, and ultimately move our business forward. Genesis said in a letter, we anticipate that it will take additional weeks rather than days for us to arrive at the path forward. All other parts of Genesis business are fully op- operational. So that's very good news. Crypto lenders and defa- uh, the de facto, de facto banks of the crypto world uh, boomed during the pen, uh, to the, during the C19, uh, attracted, attracting uh, retail customers with double-digit rates in return for the crypto deposits. Just had almost $3 billion in total active loans at the end of the third quarter. Its website said last year, Genesis extended $130 billion in crypto loans and traded $116 billion in assets. And Genesis and Digital Currency Group owe the customers of the Wukovos Twins Crypto Exchange Gemini $900 million. Uh, Gemini said in a statement on its website on November the 16th that it had partnered with Genesis for its yield generating earn program. Uh, some of you may have been involved in that. 
uh, leaving customers of this product unable to redeem their funds when Genesis froze, uh, froze withdrawals. So what are the lessons that we've been harping on about on this channel, as many other channels in the Hex uh, Pulse Chain ecosystem, and of course Richard Hart has been for years, is not your keys, not your coins. Um, so uh, if you've got to have your keys to your coins, and it must be a terrifying thing. It must be a terrifying thing uh, to not being able to get your your assets out, and uh, and particularly if the company goes under and goes to liquidation and realizing that you may get uh, little to nothing uh, back. It must be a terrifying thing, especially when if the asset prices were up really high, uh, that's going to be even more daunting. Um, so do feel for that. Now, obviously, uh, on this channel, we operate in decentralized finance uh, the vast majority of time. Um, so I don't know. It's pretty close to 100. Uh, it's pretty pretty much there. And we do recommend that strongly because uh, your keys, your coins, right? You are your own bank. So there is responsibility. Um, you've got more responsibility, but uh, it's definitely better, beneficial, right? We've seen an absolute uh, domino effect happen amongst all the so-called top-tier centralized CFIs and centralized exchanges. It's a pretty scary world in that land. Uh, welcome to DeFi. If you if you're really trying to, if you've just come in through CFI, uh, centralized finance, or through centralized exchanges, uh, and you're not really familiar with decentralized finance, uh, then you know get yourself educated. Take the time, and of course, uh, obviously Hex and Pulse Chain and things like that. Uh, that's where they live. That's where they live in this sort of land of the decentralized finance land, and where you are your own bank rather than relying on somebody else, some middleman, uh, some enterprise in the middle uh, to uh, to run things for you. Because hey, they can just say nope, you're not having your assets, and you you're just like oh my gosh, your world just starts tumbling down and, uh, you know, that, that sort of thing happens. So I do strongly suggest learn, learning a lot more about DeFi. All right, so cool. That is it because we don't even think about it here. We don't even think about this. So we're not, no one, uh, hardly anyone in the Hex community and that's going, oh my gosh, you know, unless some people play in the, in the centralized exchanges and some of the traders and this and that. Uh, but for the majority of Hexkins, they're just sitting back and going, oh, okay, what happened? What happened? What happened? <laughs> what happened? You know what I'm talking about? So cool. All right, so that's pretty much it on the crypto market. Let's have a look at the results at the moment. We got BDC at 16,837. It was sitting over at 17,000. It even got to 17,300. It's just weakened off a little bit here, down 1.25%, uh, but not too bad at this stage. Not too bad. We are still expecting a hammer to fall. Uh, now, we expected it in November. It didn't happen. And of course, the timing can be very difficult to get. Timing is the hardest thing in crypto. Timing is the hardest thing in crypto. I can't say that enough. You can get, uh, we talk about probable. Probability here. We talk about possibility, uh, things like that. We try to substantiate those probabilities and uh, make sort of an education, educa educated probability. Yes, uh, but timing is always difficult and the most difficult. And of course, if you think about Richard Hart, who's very good at making calls and of course getting uh, probability plays, uh, he also says timing is uh, difficult. And of course, that's why he doesn't like giving timings because timing is the hardest thing in crypto. That's the number one lesson. Yes, it is. If you think about everything out there, timing is the hardest thing to get right. Uh, and uh, so there's many aspects to that, but that's kind of a big thing. If you're going to think about principles learning as you get more experience in crypto, uh, take that one uh, in your top five uh, because uh, timing is always difficult to get to. You try to establish as much information as you can uh, to get the timing right. So uh, it's very important there. All right, so cool. Uh, BDC there looking uh, okay. They're all holding up sort of okay, just down a few percentage points. BNB at 284, but will the hammer fall at some stage? We will see. We have the catalyst coming up. We're going to talk about that as we get into the X chart. But before we do that, let's jump into the chat. We've got a few more people who have jumped in here. So uh, let's say hello. Uh, who else is here? We've got Kato in house. Hey, hey super. Uh, we've got uh, definitely got up to there. We've got Sam in the house there. Good to see you, Sam. Uh, what's it? Uh, we'll catch up later in Bakersfield working away. Hey, nice one, Sam. Keep up the good work. Hope you had a good gym session. I think it was yesterday, was it, Sam? Hopefully that was good. Brennan says, oi, 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 good to see you, Brennan. Uh, hi there, guys. We've got Antonia Medusa in the house. Good to see you as well. RH is the master. Yeah, he's the master of Quan. Have you ever seen the movie? <laughs> that movie, the master of Quan, is old Richard Hart. He's the master of Quan. Think about that deeply. Think about that deeply. He's the master of Quan. Uh, show me the money. He's the master of Quan. So there we are. Uh, can you make, uh, what's it? Can you make messages down so we can see the super screen? Uh, hopefully I uh, took that down at the time, Brennan. Sorry about that. Uh, good morning, Superman and family from Thailand, says PLSD Thailand. Uh, good to see you in the house there, and nice payout today, says Rango. Yeah, we're going to talk about that later on in the live stream, so stay tuned for the Hex Daily Payout. They have been spectacular uh, for the Hex Daily Payouts for those who are staking T-shares, uh, very exclusive clubs. So uh, definitely check out Hex.com. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, remember, nothing on this channel is investment advice. You must do your own due diligence. Uh, so just remember that, just my opinions. 
Uh, Katie's in the house here. Hi, hey, hey all. Let's go. Definitely, Katie. Good to see you in the house. Uh, I saw you on the old. Uh, uh, who were you on? You on um, on the Maximus developer with Tip Catcher. I saw you there, Katie, at the end. Smash those likes, says Katie. Definitely smash them around. Uh, looking around the corner for V3. Yeah, but I think there's a little bit of excitement coming around the marketplace uh, and ecosystem for the community around uh, testnet V3. It's getting a bit more excitement around uh, the old Pulse Chain testnet. It's going to be fun. Uh, Wookie loves a good sex. It's going to be fun if it gets delivered by that time frame. Uh, Christmas, New Year, something like that. It'd be cool. Uh, Wookie loves a good steak. Me too, Wookie. Uh, although I don't eat them that much these days. Hello, familiar. Finally, I made it to the live. Hey, Kristen. Uh, good to see you in the house and uh, great to see you in here. Uh, it's only up 500x today from all-time lows. Is wall to wall. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm I'm sold. Din din din. Says Christian. Good to see you. Uh, we've got living on crypto as well. Good day, Superman and Hex family. Good to see you living on crypto. Tortoise Johnny in the house. I heard the devs say two more weeks for V3. Hopefully, it's the the last time we hear it. Yeah, the two more weeks. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. Looking forward to it. Wookie well, says hit the likes, you Jedi. Definitely smash the likes. Um, uh, Water Wars says Richard got outshined by Duquan and now SBF and even Zen. Um, I'm not sh are, are you serious? I'm not sure. Are you being serious about that wall to wall? Um, <laughs> wall to wall in this chat. Um, uh, jump the... um, anyway, so we'll jump here. We got uh, <laughs> I don't know, Duquan, they got the people wrecked. I'm not sure what you're talking about there. Wigo says, uh, that's that's amazing. Uh, thanks, Walt says, Wookie. Okay, yeah, yeah. I say these are the days to see if uh, you're a RH believer. I seen a change a few and a few fakes. In the beginning, only the words came out was hex this, hex that, and now they're changing in the trolls. Uh, you do get a bit of that, actually, Christian. Coming in late, uh, says Ted Nelson. Good to see you, everybody. Uh, it's, uh, Christian says, I'm a very loyal person. I'll stick by Richard Hart in good or bad times because these people are, that are getting subpoenas, they are getting scared and abandoning ship. I say there's nothing to be afraid of, says Christian. Uh, yeah, well, we, we did see a big update. Uh, on Discord Syndicate, we've got a big update on that video. I did share that on the community tab. If you haven't seen that, it was a very good summary of the state of play with that. Uh, but, yeah, I, uh, I myself uh, don't think much of it. So it's just a bit of a fishing exercise. Um, nothing to see here, folks. Multiple live streams going on right now, but had to jump in for the best daily crypto update with Hexogen. Nice one there, Ted. Big shout out to you for that. Uh, RH is that wave, and I'm surfing all the ways. Christian. I agree with that one. Uh, Murky says, have you seen there's a new uh, wallet by Ledger? Ledger set stacks. Yeah, I did see that uh, that out on the social media and then Murky. Uh, there was an update video in our Discord if you want to check that out. I think someone's done a whole video review of Ledger stacks so you can see that on our Discord in the main chat if you want to uh, get up to date with that. I have not watched that yet, but uh, definitely that is out there. Uh, PSI says the highest stakes look so well produced, really high quality. I know PSI, I think that's going to do very well uh, as intended. I think it's going to really uh, do very well in as intended there. Market Valley in the house as well. The rockets are on. I think so. Uh, things are getting a bit more exciting in our ecosystem. Now, what we want to happen is, of course, is get uncorrelated from the rest of the market, right? Uh, so Pulse Chain will help us do that. Uh, the highest stakes may help us do that. May, I say, depending on uh, the streaming and things like that in the early new year. Uh, it just depends on a number of things, uh, the way it's you know positioned, the timing, all sorts of stuff on there. But that uh, definitely, if it reaches uh, a huge audience as we... Uh, we hope so, um, then that could also be a big catalyst. Let's get into the Hex chart, though. Hex at the moment, 2.816 cents at the moment. And, of course, a pretty nice little uh, accumulation zone uh, from my point of view. Uh, but obviously, a distribution zone here as well. Uh, just ticking away, 2.81 cents, the high of the day, uh, 2.876. Let's have a look at some of the key metrics. Uh, we're going to look back first. Uh, we've got, uh, obviously, here, I've added this in, the 15th of September. Uh, we had the ETH proof of stake merge, remember? Uh, it was block one five five three seven three nine three, so all fifteen and a half million pretty much. And of course, that was way back on the fourteenth or fifteenth of September, I should say. Uh, and so that's been how far away we have been since the the ETH fork there. Uh, and of course, uh, then it was only a, f a few. How long away it was after that? So twenty four days later, uh, Richard Hart announced on Hexologist channel uh, that uh, no, no, they were going to leave behind the ETH proof of work. Uh, the BSC version uh, in the in the past with its bugs and issues, and of course fork the ETH proof of stake, which was a great news uh, because obviously we're going to be able to get the upgrades presumably with the proof of stake uh, coming up as well with the sharding and the e TPS and all that sort of stuff, uh, transaction per second improvements and stuff like that. So that's very bullish, 
and that was pretty great news. I was very happy when I heard him announce that. I was very stoked about that. So that bodes well, and it should be an easier fork to do. Now, they have apparently found a bug in there about a month ago. Um, so if we take the current day, uh, something like 35 days, let's say, so something like it, maybe at the beginning of November, the end of, the, of October, somewhere in that ballpark, they must have found some bug on there uh, by the team. And, of course, the ETH team and the Pulse Chain team working to resolve that. Uh, so that would bode well as well when we uh, fork the proof of stake and get that on testnet V3. Uh, so that could be pretty cool. And I've got that uh, here all running way through the second half of December. Imagine if we get that by, say, the 7th of January, somewhere in there. That would be super bullish for X ecosystem. Uh, and we could see, as Randy says, we might very well see a 2x, a 3x, maybe 10 cents, uh, which is uh, Randy was talking about as well. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Certainly a bullish sign having a proof of stake version on testnet rather than the proof of work. Uh, so that'd be very exciting to see that. And between that, of course, though, uh, we do have the CPI inflation numbers coming out on the 13th, which are added in here as well. Uh, so you can see that there. That's the inflation number. And then the following day, uh, we have the Fed rate hike. And of course, uh, People are a little bit nervous now than they were. Uh, Chairman Powell had a very um, dovish view of that outlook. But, of course, since then, we've had quite still strong economic news, particularly around the service sector, uh, wage inflation. I mean, we had these sort of things. Uh, employment was still stubbornly high. Um, and so beating expectations, I think it was 263,000 uh, versus 200. I think it was 230 they were forecast, something like that. And so we've still had a couple of these things still uh, – Put, giving strong inflation on the on the downside of course oils come back uh we've had that happen we've had um a property come back a, a property service sector come back we've had some good services inflation come back uh, so we've got these two things weighing up and that's what the fed will be weighing up there as well uh but i'm still expecting a more uh slightly dovish 15 basis points but what will the future be what will february what will be march march uh, rates be will it be 50 basis points around 25 and so that's kind of where we're looking at the moment. Now, remember, the federal funds rate is currently at 3.75 to 4%. So you imagine adding 50 basis points, it will get up to 4.5%. And, of course, if February had another 50 basis points, it will get to 5%. And, of course, at, at the moment, we've got the PCE inflation number at 5%. Uh, so we'd want that to pull back as well. So the CPI will play into that. Remember, last time uh, for October, we had 7.7%, uh, down from 8.1% in September. So if, if the uh, November result is lower, uh, then 7.7, that's going to be good for us and may may make the markets, uh, you know, how they've been sort of risking off the last couple of days, uh, getting fearful about recession in, in the Fed um, because of that uh, bullish data around wages and stuff like that. Maybe that will play out um, and we'll get a bit of reprieve. So there's a lot of volatility in here because these are all uncertain. So uh, we're getting more certainty as we move forward um, about where the Fed will be. Um, hoping for 50 basis points and maybe a little bit, uh, a little bit, uh, I think they will be hawkish still, uh, so I don't want to get uh, too ahead of ourselves there. Um, so, But if we get 50 basis points, that would lead us pretty well in for a opportunity uh, for Hex ecosystem to do something special, particularly if we get V3. V3 is the catalyst, right? So uh, that would be pretty cool, uh, having both those things coming into play. Uh, that could lead us into the second half of December, as I was saying, which I feel, you know, we may have a lot, nice little Christmas party in our ecosystem. I don't know what the rest of the market will do, um, but we may have a good party time. Let's see how we go. Not investment advice, of course, just my opinion. Let's have a look at the uh, the hex over the last uh, 24 hours. We've got the good accounting. Still keep getting paid, man. We've had so much good accounting stuff coming. We had 405,000 hex 17 hours ago. Uh, 250,000 hex coming here as well. Uh, so just more uh, penalties there. Another quarter of, a, uh, quarter of a million hex there as well. Not sure what people are saying. Uh, arigato, yeah, indeed. Arigato, indeed. Um, so uh, we've got some more than another quarter of a million Man, we're just getting paid, paid, paid. And, of course, 335 there as well. So, so much stuff coming in there. Look at those penalties. Woohoo! Hot doggity dog dog. Uh, this one here, early instinct as well. Uh, it was a negative 1.3% ROI. Uh, 807 days over 1628. And uh, so, uh, thank you very much for your service. Uh, we've got some more stuff here as well. Uh, what's this one here? Negative uh, 11% ROI. 3.6 million penalty. Uh, the reward was 3.4 on 1.7 million state. Uh, that was 1,066 days versus 2250 there. Uh, so that's less than 50% the way through, isn't it? Um, so crazy, crazy stuff going there. Let's have a quick look and see if anyone's got any comments on that. Uh, Dunker Sir says Pulse Dodge Elon. Yeah. Uh, seeing OG's early end stake and losing Hedron 10x is super bullish near the bottom. Yeah, that's pretty sad. Yeah, that is true. 
Uh, that's a really old hex stake there, OG stake in the house as well. Uh, so who knows why that happened? Who knows why they did that? Maybe they need the money. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe they're getting a little nervous. Who knows? So this is a bit. That's X whale bot. Uh, let's jump into Hedron. Hedron at the moment, 1890. So a little bit weaker too, uh, like uh, I guess in the hex frame there, 2.1890. Uh, uh, so just below it, sort of 1900, 2000. It's been sitting there for quite a while. Uh, and of course, finding a bit of a flaw here after having a bit of a downtrend uh, there at the moment. Uh, so cool. Let's have a look at the hex HSIs. We've got uh, 5,177 in liquidation queue, uh, which have not been pulled into the auction house. Uh, so there is opportunity there, probably, if you wanted to go through them. Now, we've also got 27, only 27 in the actual auction house at the moment. Uh, let's have a look at some of the bigger ones here. 1.9 million hex. Woohoo! These are one of these big ones. Remember, there's about 90 or so of these. Uh, and look at this. It's uh, got a bit of 15.8 billion hedron on it. Uh, 15 minutes to go. So that's going to close off soon. Uh, presumably, unless it gets outbid again. Uh, pretty cool. What else we got here? A couple of 50,000s, 50,000 50, there, uh, and so on. Uh, 20,000 there here. So there is, a, you know, these ones are, are good for the retail book to pick off. If you want to get some, try and get some deals, these might be attractive deals there as well. Um, so cool. That is a big one, though. That one there about to close in 15 minutes' time. That is pretty neat. Let's go to Dev, Dev Huey, who's been providing us a lot of uh, alpha around the uh, Hedron and Icosa. Uh, so let's have a look at some of that. Um, let's go here. I think we looked at this one. The correct answer is 760. How many unique address uh, wallet addresses have won an HSI stake in the Hedron auctions to date? So this is how many addresses have won? 760 have won auction, HSI auctions. That's a pretty good number uh, to know. So very cool to see that. I'm not sure. I think that's it. So that's pretty cool. That's kind of so uh, 360 wallets that have actually won exercise. That's cool. And the auctions there. All right. So cool. That is pretty much it. We're going to get into uh, Pulse Bitcoin. Uh, and before we do that, we're going to get the airdrops. So now if you want to find the airdrops, just go to our Discord. We've got uh, two discussion groups there, the, the Rich Art group and, of course, the Pulse Chain group. And the Pulse Chain group discussions, uh, which is all the projects and things like that, we have all the airdrops and free claims. We have a group there for the airdrops and free claims. You want to go through that, see if you qualify. Uh, remember to do your own investment due diligence. But apart from that, they are posted there. Let's have a look at Zen uh, quickly. This is a free mint. So rather than qualifying, you can mint this at any time. That's on like 10 chains. Uh, they've got the Zen NFTs coming up. Uh, and they're going to have massive burn potential in there. Uh, so uh, turning this chart from a bearish uh, chart with a log, log function, which is kind of like this, where you get all inflation at the beginning. Uh, and potentially into a bullish chart uh, and uh, changing it from just a possible play into some sort of probable play. And uh, yeah, this could be some fun stuff in here. Who knows? There could be big potential Xs in here. Once again, very speculative though. Um, but yeah, it's going to be fun to see this play out. Already had a little bit of a movement in it. We'll see what happens here. You really got to keep tabs on what Jack Levin is saying with those NFTs. Um, and uh, I might do a little review of that myself. Uh, we'll have a look at that. All right, so cool. Uh, we've got the weight token at the moment. Is most people just waiting, but has had a bit of a little bit of price appreciation here, uh, heading towards uh, three tenths of a penny rather than a quarter of a penny, which has kind of been sitting there for quite a while. Uh, it's just starting to make a little bit move high here. Most people are just waiting uh, for this token. I actually haven't looked to see how much is actually in, in supply now. Uh, it's been a while. Last time I checked, was it 130 million or something? Uh, probably a lot higher than that now. So uh, haven't checked that though. Let's go over to Paul Pleb. Uh, Paul Pleb also, uh, this is for people that sacrifice like between ten and $1,000. Uh, it's for poor plebs, not rich plebs. Um, and of course, the price has actually been accelerating. So that's kind of cool. Still very low, you know, uh, launched at a poor time, unfortunately, in the market. Uh, but it's managed to find, it's managed to track higher. It's got a higher low, uh, but hasn't got a higher high yet. And But it is moving up. So that's kind of cool. 3,925, so basically 4,000 with five zeros in front. And that's pretty much it. We'll keep watching Paul Pleb there. I think there's still 20 days or something like that to claim. Uh, you need to check that out, though. Uh, and I keep forgetting to do it. So uh, you can check that out. All right, so cool. Uh, Pulse Bitcoin, let's get into that. Now, I uh, may very well have uh, some fun yes in the Pulse Bitcoin community uh, coming into onto the chat uh, coming up in the future. Stay tuned for that. Uh, that could be quite the hoot. Could, could be a lot of fun. So stay tuned for Pulse Bitcoin if you're involved in that. Uh, it's kind of a, a vet member, sort of a ecosystem around, based around a virtual representation of Bitcoin. That's kind of where this has gone. Um, so we're going to have a quick look at here. Uh, we had some bullish, oh, what, the last two days have been pretty bullish for this chart. Yeah, it has indeed. So here's the Pulse Bitcoin. Uh, pretty bullish in this chart here. Very nice. 
And of course, uh, we front run all this. Remember on our discussions, uh, 54% here, uh, $2.73. Uh, it's currently at two dollars thirty-three. There, really nice uh, uh, move high here. Very nice move indeed. Uh, the other thing, of course, Pulse uh, Dogecoin, the original meme that was airdropped to Hex Stakers, uh, and of course uh, for free. Uh, that is moving very close to the end of its transform phase. We already finished the ATM, the ATM miner, and you can see that uh, the transform phase is almost over too. Bullish for the ecosystem. Already front run it, right? Already front run it here. And, of course, Wolverine is back from holiday, so that's probably a big part too. But uh, there we are. Uh, we've got 12 days to go approximately. Uh, this thing is counting down. Let's see what this does in the future. It's going to be fun to see. Uh, and, of course, it's up to $6.57. Really nice move on this. And, of course, uh, was down at $3.77. Uh, been as high as uh, $7.11, up 88% uh, in eight days. And now is currently up about 75% in eight days, uh, looking pretty good. We've got the plane there. Uh, as well, we might as well change that to red just because it's going to red day. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but so far, pretty cool. That countdown there is the squeeze. That is the squeeze. What's going to happen? Uh, it's already the charts, charts already moving, so something good's happening there. But here is probably, I think, the possibly the most valuable, although there is 19 million of these ASIC, ASIC tokens, uh, but you do need them to mine Pulse Bitcoin and presumably uh, Litecoin in the future. And that has had a big rally. That rallied first, didn't it? It rallied first. And uh, look at that, went from uh, 84 cents here. Uh, the bottom here, down as low as 75, uh, up at 133 there. So it's actually at an absolute tier. Uh, been as high as 95% up in seven days. Currently up uh, 80%, 80% in 133, uh, at $1.33 at the moment. So uh, doing very well. Uh, where could this go? Where could this go? That's the question uh, we all ask. Where could it go to? Let's jump over to the results on the transform. 12 days and 17 hours to go. Yes, sir. 12 days and 17 hours to go. Feels like yesterday was 12 days. Now, yesterday was 13 days and 17 hours because it was just under two weeks. So that's kind of where we are there. And let's have a look. We had 3,174,000 Pulse Dogecoin, the meme coin, transformed into 15.6 million asset tokens. This is the token you need to mine with. And that's 52% of Pulse Dogecoin has been burned and destroyed. Poof. Like that. <laughs> Poof, like that. That's all that happened there. Uh, that's crazy stuff there. 52%. So only 48% of the Pulse Dodge coin left. Uh, that's some crazy stuff there for the main coin uh, as well. Let's have a look at the mining there. We're at uh, 7,066 miners. So an increase in miners. We did drop down two days ago below 7,000, back up at 7,066. We've got 19 million asset tokens mining. Uh, that's the mining power there. Uh, global asset burn, 54,000 has been burned. Does have the burn mechanism, remember? This burn mechanism there, uh, making asset uh, not only valuable, but deflationary. 2,445,000 Pulse Bitcoin has been mined so far. Around about a million, I think, or so has been minted. Um, so uh, what's that? 40% uh, of that amount. Uh, 10 and a half million Pulse Bitcoin is the is the target before the first halving. Uh, that's kind of where we are at the moment. Let's jump over to ATMs, the asset NFTs. You can trade these on Rarible or OpenSea. Uh, I kind of feel that these kind of been, end up being quite valuable, although I've uh, got to offset it versus the mining uh, valuation of actually having ASICs mining Pulse Bitcoin. So we've got uh, 2,756 ATMs left, uh, 1 million uh, endpoints there. And of course, the global redeemable ATMs have been 3.5 million. So, well, a huge amount have been redeemed. Um, and of course, they're mining over there with the old, uh, Pulse, with the old Pulse Dodge transform, uh, you know, adding up with this. Uh, to get us up to uh, this 19 million here, uh, adding those together. So that's kind of where that is at the moment. I kind of feel you've got the ASIC token, the ATMs at the top, uh, Pulse Bitcoin, Pulse, uh, sorry, Pulse Dogecoin at the moment, just for a week, and then it might flip over to Pulse Dogecoin. Uh, Pulse Dogecoin might flip to Pulse Bitcoin. We're going to see that battle go on uh, between the main coin and the BDC uh, Bitcoin representation of, of, of uh, Pulse Bitcoin there. And then, of course, Pulse Litecoin come down down later on. We'll see how this all plays out. It's going to be fun to see. But definitely the ASIC does seem to be the the uh, uh, the engine, as it were. So maybe that is the more valuable one. Uh, you can decide. All right, so cool. That is pretty much it. We've also got Wolverine has a huge, huge giveaway at the moment. Uh, at least no, it's not a giveaway. It's a lottery. It's a lottery. I've got to be a bit more careful with my language. 10,000 Pulse Bitcoin lottery. OMG. Uh, what's that? 20,000 bucks or something? Uh, how much is that now? Let's go jump back to that. It's huge. Uh, man, this guy knows how to put on the parties. Uh, what have we got? Uh, $2.30. Is that Pulse Bitcoin? Did I say Pulse Bitcoin? Yeah, Pulse Bitcoin. OMG, look at that. So that's uh, 
two dollars thirty one. So that's uh, what twenty three thousand bucks. Wow, 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 wow. Imagine if the price of Pulse Bitcoin keeps going up, this prize is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. Merry Christmas, says Wolverine. Wow, wow, wow. He's come back from holiday. Or has he come back with a, with a star there? Read the details below to participate. Expires in three days. Time for another, uh, I don't know what that is there, sewing there. That's cool. I'm going to post this in the chat there. If you want to participate, uh, get in there because, hey, 23000 bucks. Not, not not much to sneeze out there if you can win that. So definitely uh, get in there. That is the link right there. So do that. And you never know. We might have some special guests coming uh, anytime soon in the future. Uh, so it's going to be cool. Uh, we've got a couple other people in the house there. I'm going to quickly go through those before I get into the details of this. Uh, Mookie says ETH uh, 2.0 is 100x better than forking BS BSC. Yeah, definitely, Mookie. Uh, so ETH2, they say. Uh, what's up, Tin Tops in house? What's up? Hey, good to see you, Tin Top. And they fought Wookie once and got a Ewok, says Wookie. That's pretty funny. Now, if you want more good humor from Wookie, get into our Discord. The link's in the video description. And, of course, uh, Wookie is one of our mods. And uh, he's, a, he's a hoot. He's a hoot there. Uh, definitely get into that. All right, so cool. Uh, Brian's in house, one of our community leads. Got a, got a run, folks. See you. I see you, Brian. Take care. And uh, we've got more spam in the chat. So uh, thanks to the uh, Brian for deleting the spam. Uh, we must be getting popular if they're getting spam like that. I don't know. We'll just say that just because it sounds cool. Anyway, so this is the way to get into it. One lucky ETH address shall receive 10,000 Pulse Bitcoin as a free gift with no strings attached. OMG, isn't that cool? That is so cool. I better retweet this, I guess. I and I alone shall select the winner. Oh, me, 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 me. <laughs> Everyone's going like that. Me, 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 me. Uh, to increase your odds of winning, do the following. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Like, comment, and quote the, the quote and retweet. Follow me. Tag your friends. Create a TikTok video about Pulse Bitcoin. So many of you probably won't be on TikTok. So maybe it's something you'll have to do uh, with, in terms of a bit of extra work. Um, but yeah. Uh, emoji, a thread. Oh, thread emoji says a Machiavelli. Cool. Yeah, I, I'm not up to date with some of those things. I don't spend too much time on Twitter. I try not to. Just what I had to do for a minute. All right, so like, comment, tweet, quote, and retweet. Follow me. Tag your friends. Create a TikTok video about Pulse Bitcoin. Convince me that you will hold the asset for life-changing wealth. Uh, there we are. So that's that's pretty funny. Uh, paste your TikTok video in this thread. The most compelling video creator is likely to be the winner. One lucky golden ticket to financial freedom. And go to Pulse Bitcoin white paper to learn about the asset. Uh, so there we are for that one. And what else there? Feel free to encourage users to buy Pulse Bitcoin at the USDC and PulseBitcoin.com as well. Uh, using the cow swap there. You have 72 hours from the timestamp of this thread. Good luck and thanks for participating in this lottery. Uh, so there we you have still a bit of time there. Um, and this was posted on the 7th. Uh, do not paste any ETH address in this thread. I select the winners at the end of the contest. At that point, the winner can provide the ETH address and I'll publish uh, the same transaction there. So that's kind of cool. Uh, use tags, Pulse Bitcoin, Pulse uh, Bitcoin there, and Pulse Bitcoin, more Pulse Bitcoin, TikTok, YouTube, Shorts, and Insta Reels are all acceptable. I encourage outreach marketing there. Uh, might have to do a, I might have to do a YouTube short myself then. I don't know. We'll see how we go there. It should be noted that I am giving away my own money. That's very important. Uh, I, I bought Pulse Dogecoin. I transformed to ASIC and I mined Pulse Bitcoin. Now I'm willing to give away some of that wealth from my own wallet there. So that's from uh, uh, Wolverine. And uh, there's some how to make a TikTok there. So it's kind of cool. Any platform that's set for the video, you are not required to use TikTok and so forth. There is, I guess, some examples of uh, Pulse Bitcoin there uh, in terms of the video. And uh, it's kind of cool. We've got another one there as well. So lots of people putting in different versions. When will we announce on Twitter Spaces? Uh, contest extended to the 20th of this month. Uh, so that's very important there. So the contest has been extended to the 20th of this month, two weeks. So you don't have three days, two weeks uh, to get involved in this if you want to. Uh, that gives you a bit more time as well. There's lots of different videos he's posting there. Uh, so pretty cool. I think we're almost at the end of this long thread, are we? Uh, let's see how we go. It's a pretty epic thread there with a lot of uh, entries, I guess, there, entries. Um, so cool. Uh, Fat Sammy, one of our uh, community leads in this channel, uh, uh, it says, wow, this will change someone's life, just like Pulse Bitcoin will do for the whole generation of users there. So pretty cool. So that is a big deal. I uh, don't often get uh, prizes that big. Um, so hopefully you guys, best of luck to all of you there. And of course, the link's in the chat. Very, very cool. All right, so cool. We're going to get into BNBP, uh, which is our speculative play on uh, the world's first peer-to-peer -peer crypto casino or iGaming. Uh, we're expecting two big games to come out uh, this month in December. Uh, so we're staying tuned for that. And, of course, $7.90 is the price at the moment of BNBP. And, of course, uh, bnbppot.io uh, is the site. And, of course, you can stake your BNBP. 
and uh, share in the profits of the uh, crypto casino or iGaming site. So it's pretty cool. And it's uh, going to be quite the journey over the next uh, 12 to 18 months. Looking forward to it. Uh, we'll be covering that on this channel. But all right, so let's get into the Hex Daily Stats. They're coming up. Day 1001. Woohoo! That's already hot off the press. So we're going to talk about that. Before we do that, though, we're going to get into PSI. says, start off a good run into Christmas for ASIC and Peel Estate. Exciting times. I saw Hexo uh, or Hex Info has 35,000 followers uh, on that one. Hex Info. Yeah, cool. That's very good. Um, all right. So we've got 11, uh, 1,101 days. And it's hot off the press. It is the 17th of December results. Price down 1.9%, down to 2.819, uh, 813, I should say. Uh, so it's still sitting at that 2.8 cents mark. Uh, we've got the payout petition at 6.562. Oh my gosh, that is so good. Um, look at these payouts for Hextakers. So check out Hextake.com, folks. If you're new to Hex, check it out. It is the, pretty much the best DeFi product out there. Uh, and it really is cool. Now, uh, just get into it, folks. Really, really cool. Don't forget doing your investment due diligence, all that good stuff. If you have any more questions, of course, get into our Discord. Uh, we're probably going to look to have a workshop coming up on Hex uh, in our Discord coming up. So stay tuned for that. Uh, we'll let you know more details uh, when we firm that up. Uh, Payout petit share there, 5.562. Amazing. I can't stop looking at it. So good. Uh, yesterday was 6.599. Uh, what a great... Look at these last 10 days. Absolutely spectacular. Uh, it is so good being a Hex taker, honestly. Uh, getting that yield, sweet, sweet yield. The share rate is up 7.7 .7 to 25,231. Point eight. Now, this part of the secret source is the share rate. Uh, and there's plenty of videos out there if you want to hear about that from the uh, Dev Kyle. Dev, Dev Kyle. Uh, and, of course, uh, critical to the share rate uh, formula inside of X. And, of course, reflecting compound interest. And always making sure that longer pays better. Uh, so, uh, very, very cool. It makes it more fair for when you decide to enter. enter. There's always, as uh, Dev Kyle says, uh, says, meat on the bone. There's always meat on the bone uh, for people coming into X, which is pretty cool. Uh, the T-share price there is seven hundred ten dollars. Now, obviously, longer pays better. Uh, you get twenty percent more shares uh, for your hex when you stake it, and of course, your hex gets destroyed, and you get shares in return, part of the ownership pool. And of course, uh, that's going to be pretty cool. And of course, uh, if you get twenty percent shares every year up to ten years, it's two hundred percent more shares, and it's basically you can get this for a third of the price if you stake out uh, longer. Uh, longer pays better there, so it's pretty cool. That's in the effective bonus that you get when you do your hex stake. Uh, average stake length is 6.73 years. We've got the APY, APY rate. Uh, so remember, there's two rates that we use typically in crypto, an APR rate, which is pretty much a flat interest rate, uh, or APY, which is like a compounded interest rate. And, of course, uh, the, this includes the yield and emergency interstate penalties, 39.35% uh, returns. And this is paid out in HEX. Obviously, US dollar price in HEX can move around, currently at 2.8 cents, uh, but the HEX yield is a, a staggering 39.35%. And, of course, Hex does this through the share rate mechanism and a few other mechanisms. It is pretty, pretty awesome. So uh, definitely look at that standout performance. Uh, liquidity there is uh, 320 million Hex in the pool. So plenty of Hex there for people wanting to buy in, especially larger holders. Liquidity in the pool is 10.6 million US dollars. 1,500 Ethereum in the pool there too. Uh, we look back uh, here. What did we look back? In fact, yesterday, the other day, uh, was it yesterday, we looked back in time, back to the all-time high of Hex back in September of 21. And uh, there was, what, 35 million, I think, was in the USD pool here, 35 million. So that kind of gives you an idea uh, how, how much US dollar buying you need to kind of get back to that all-time high, uh, give or take uh, changes in the ecosystem there. Uh, now, we talked about this a lot. Uh, this T-share, we got down yesterday. Uh, we, Hex is easy to understand. We have a reward pool with the inflation and penalties in it. We have an ownership pool with uh, T-shares in it, or, or which is called trillions of shares. And, of course, uh, yes, we've had some big decreases the last couple of days with big stakes coming out as well, uh, which were anticipated. And, of course, uh, we got down to 10 million, 268,000 T-shares in the pool. Amazing. Uh, this used to be over a million. Uh, we were at about 10.4 million for quite a while, and now we're down just to over 10 and a quarter million. Isn't that crazy? And, of course, today we've had a lot of those stakes uh, come back in, an uh, increase of 16,230 T-shares. Uh, so we're back up to 10 million 284,911 T shares in the ownership pool. So if you have a change in the reward pool or the ownership pool, uh, you know, uh, uh, both pretty much around the penalties in particular for the reward pool, then your hex payout per T share will change quite a bit. And of course, we've seen the base hex payout per T share go up uh, because we've been going down. The ownership pool's been going down. We've been growing the number of retail people, but the share rate keeps adjusting. And of course, the bigger players are moving around uh, doing their thing as well. So uh, lots of variables to take into account there. 
but the pay has been getting better and better and better. So uh, in the future, it's going to be dramatically better. So stay tuned for that. If you're in Maximus ecosystem, uh, you know, Hedron, Icosa, you're going to be laughing yourself silly too in the future uh, with the same hex, underlying hex mechanisms playing out there. All right, so stake percentage of coins, 69.71% of hexes stakes. Yes, you heard it here. And, of course, the penalty is 6.5 million. Yeah, boy, as we say, yeah, boy. We're excited about that. We're almost at 7.1 million yesterday. Look at the last 10 days. Insane. Eight out of the last 10 days, over a million hex penalties every day. Uh, because if you stake hex, you get rewarded. And uh, that's how the mechanism works. Uh, people that don't keep to their responsibilities, they get penalized. Uh, in different ways and of course you end up getting 50 percent of that and 50 percent goes to the origin account and of course that we consider that kind of like deflation uh, if the origin account hasn't sold anything uh, we can see it like a financial operator and that actually lowers the effect of inflation uh, into the ecosystem so uh, very very bullish on both accounts you get paid inflation is lower and it's got a win-win right that's kind of cool all right so let's have a look at the growth in the numbers uh the current holders down five on the ether scan so down to four three hundred fourteen thousand. Uh, we've had the current stakers up 27 today. We're kind of starting to get back into more normal staking behavior there, up to 116,126. And the current holders up 128 to 515,920. Uh, pretty cool. So uh, very nice details there. Rich Hart always says get out and do jerk promotions. And I always uh, back that up. That is the best way, in my view, uh, to get out there. Now you can uh, you know, maybe do paper drops or do something online, whatever you decide to do. Uh, get out there and spread the good word, as we say. Uh, day 11, uh, 1,102. That's what we're on at the moment. So uh, in our fourth year of X, uh, very exciting to see that. And you can see the base payout at the moment, around about 6.24 uh, is the base payout. 6.24 hex per T-share. Uh, very, very cool. All right, uh, so cool. Uh, now you've got to remember that if the hex price goes up and does something, if Pulse Chain launches with Testnet V3, the, the market does respond, uh, goes up to uh, 10 cents, then the T-share rate will jump dramatically. Uh, so the T-share rate, uh, or T-share price, I should say, is the share rate times the hex price. Um, so you can see this thing could move in a in a price when the price is moving higher. Uh, it can uh, suddenly get way more expensive to get a T-share. Uh, that's something to th food for thought there as well. Obviously, not investment advice. You must do your own due diligence. So that's kind of the hex daily stats. We're almost at an hour, but let's get into some of the airdrops. Sorry, some of the sacrifices that are up. Uh, these are what I call top tier utility ones. Uh, obviously, they've got risk return trade offs, so you need to think about that yourself. Do your investment due diligence. But we have got famous on at the moment. Uh, it's coming up, I should say, uh, is the famous early bird. And of course, that will begin on Friday, December the 9th, uh, which is coming up pretty soon. Um, so, Friday, December the 9th, 8 p.m. UST time. Uh, this will be coming up for the famous one. Now, this is they've got three projects the Fiat one, which already closed, that was a fork of Ave. Uh, this is the famous, it's uh, uh, so the Ave one is like a, a banking lending platform. Uh, has a few extra features, potentially like flash loans and uh, interest rate swap uh, usabilities and other different applications. Uh, this is famous as a fork of GMX, so uh, margin trading and DeFi, uh, which is you know relatively, I uh, guess, a new a new thing. And of course, this is going to be bullish for uh, that part of the crypto market that likes to take risk, uh, you know, risk above, uh, way above normal risk uh, there. So that's kind of the play there. Uh, reach uh, tends that market. So. Uh, Pulse Chain is going to have pretty much all the big, big DeFi successful stuff that out there that you can think of is going to be on Pulse Chain launching uh, pretty much within the first six weeks, is my guess. Uh, we'll probably have all the big players launching there. So it's going to be a very flourishing ecosystem. It's not going to be, you're not waiting for stuff to be built. It's going to be there, uh, which is kind of uh, going to be exciting to see that play out. That's uh, going to take a lot of people by off off guard too, because a lot of people, uh, if they've heard, if they've said, been saying stuff, they're like ignorant of actually how much, how big the ecosystem is going to be. Now there might be thousands of project, you know, projects. There may be four thousand projects on Ethereum, for example. Um, but you know, how many of those are actually high quality? Uh, 20, 50? Uh, so that's what I'm saying. We're going to have the majority of those, I think, on Pulse Chain straight off the bat, off the gate. So we have 150 projects. Uh, we might have 10, uh, 10 that are actually top tier, uh, and the, they're the, big, the ones that are going to get valued up the most anyway, right? So and then we might have another 10 that are, are pretty good on top of that. So. It's going to be fun to see that. And then, of course, once people see how successful it is, they're all going to rush. Right? They're going to go, oh, my God, I've got to get in on the action because everybody follows uh, the crypto profits, right? They follow the crypto profits. So it's going to be fun to see that. Uh, all right. So cool. That is the famous that's coming up. Now, obviously, Internet Money also is on at the moment. Another top tier utility, uh, which is, uh, you know, probably the first model of its type uh, doing profit sharing. Um, and that's also coming out as well. Now, we've obviously got Staker App uh, version two coming out possibly before Christmas. 
Uh, it looks like that's been teased, possibly. And, of course, uh, looking forward to that. And, uh, you know, we've got a few options. Heart Wallet, potentially, uh, coming out later. Uh, we'll see how that plays out. It'll be interesting to see whether uh, there's been any conversation with the Internet Money Wallet, but I don't think there has, given the fact that we've got the sacrifice. Uh, so this is multi-chain sacrifice, remember? Uh, so that's pretty cool. So that's also on. And we have added points table for the current sacrifice, which ends the, the 30th of December. And you can visit the new points there, sort of upgraded the interface there. Uh, select multi-chain from the drop-down view to, to view to estimation your points. Uh, so this is a wallet where you have profit sharing. Uh, you get the token and your profit share, and it's going to be multi-chain. So it's going to be pretty cool. People that sacrifice for the original Pulse Chain version, uh, they will also get a one-to-one -one airdrop uh, over on the uh, multi-chain version as well. Uh, so it's in your self-interest to spread the word around the wallet and get adoption, right? Uh, because if it can get anything like um, MetaMask, then uh, that'd be, that's pretty good daily revenue, like a million bucks a day. Uh, that's pretty cool. And swapping value, that's pretty neat. All right, so cool. Uh, a bit of work to, to, to take to get that sort of adoption, but that's kind of the potential there. Uh, this is the new update here. Obviously, you can put your address in. Uh, it's got a multi-chain, pulse chain, multi-chain. Uh, so you can put your address in there. You can see some of the addresses here. Uh, look at this value, $148,000 here. Uh, 14.8 million points there for account four. Uh, it's got the details too. You can check that. Uh, it's got all the Ethereum there, uh, the minted time, the value, uh, the points. So this person's gone on pretty hardcore. So this one, 120,000, 50,000, 38. So some pretty big uh, retail heavy hitters in there. Uh, and uh, you can see all the rest of the people there, all the other wallets. So it's kind of cool. Uh, you can go to the sacrifice page as well. Uh, we'll paste uh, the stuff here. I'll paste this tweet in here if you want to check it out more. Uh, let's copy that. That is the famous one. Uh, famous. Now, remember, this is margin trading. They do have a third product coming, which is more of a, uh, a portfolio watcher uh, called, I think it's called Fatty, is it? Fatty? Something like that. Um, so uh, that one's coming too. Uh, I think they've already got the, te the test version up, up and running. Uh, so you can see that on Famous. So they're doing some cool, cool products on to Pulse Chain. And of course, uh, if you want to get the internet one here, internet money one, uh, this is the uh, internet money. I'll post that too. And boom. Yeah, I, I typically try to, I typically more than often try to talk about the ones that I think that are uh, top utility ones, right? This doesn't mean that they have, some have more risk than others, uh, but uh, they also may have more potential as well. So uh, there we are. Those are the two ones there. I hope you guys uh, if you are interested in those, you can check them out. Remember to do your own investment due diligence. Uh, the results at the moment, though. So there was 1.6 million in the first sacrifice for Pulse Chain. Uh, the multi-chain sacrifice so far is at 401,000. Uh, had a little hiccup at the beginning with the wrong address in there, but uh, it's been fixed up now. Uh, so OXCE and ends in 2001. Uh, basically, all you have to do is send funds to it. So you can check this out yourself. Uh, four different chains you can send to, all to the same address, uh, but you can select the token of choice there. Pretty easy. You can read the rest of it yourself. There, cool. Uh, we may end up having Keiji on the chat on the channel here at some stage uh, to talk about that. So stay tuned. Big roadmap, uh, big roadmap ahead, as you can see. Uh, this is Q4, so it's the currently where we are at the moment. Uh, and heading into 2023, uh, they've got lots of things that they want planned as well. Multi-chain uh, profit sharing wallet. Uh, that's a game changer, right? DeFi, own your own keys, your own coins. There is a download wallet at the moment. Uh, do take caution using it though. Obviously, it's still in the uh, testnet phase at the moment, So, uh, but you can download the wallet, play around with all the features, and the, the addresses are real, so you can operate on real chains. Just take care uh, with, the, with that as you go. I haven't heard of any issues with it, but uh, you know, there has been caution uh, noted by the founders themselves. Um, so cool. I think that's down here further. Uh, that they had something on this. Uh, or is that the top? Might be at the top of their commentary. So look here. Um, yeah, they used to have a post up here, but it uh, looks like it's uh, not there now. So cool. That is some of the highlights there. I hope you guys have enjoyed that. Uh, let's jump away from all these. Uh, we've currently, let's uh, close out there too. Check out Hex.com, folks, if you're new to, to uh, Hex.com. If you've got any questions, get into our Discord. We we'll probably will be holding a workshop coming up soon too. Something that people might want to hear too. Uh, so looking good. All right, uh, let's see where the markets are at the moment. We're up on at one hour and five minutes. Uh, price just under 19, uh, 16,900 for BDC, ETH at 1234 and BNB at 284. Uh, any standouts there? Well, we've got some uh, crow and uh, things are being hit here a little bit harder. Six, down 6.4% 6 is crow, so 6.3 cents. Uh, we can also see that uh, Sol is down too. Solana down 5% to $13.50. Uh, so they've been a bit hit, uh, down a little bit more than some of the others. Uh, which is uh, kind of cool. 
that's cool because uh you can buy them cheaper that's pretty much it i don't know uh so we've got hex at 2.8 and we've got hit on at uh 1890 those are kind of our headline markets at the moment we're going to leave it on this chart it's going to go to the log chart first uh so we're going to go to the weekly and have a look at the what the, the log chart uh for the old hex and you can see that let me just uh play that out there so that was hex's uh all-time high there uh back in september and of course uh, here we are down at 2.8 so a very friendly place to pick up uh, uh pick up the amounts about about 94 and a half percent or 95 percent down it's 95 percent down at the moment so uh, very nice discount for x getting t-shares uh you can get them a lot cheaper x price decides to pulse chain testnet launches uh and the, the price does respond to that proof of stake version uh then you know it's going to cost you a lot more money right so just got to take that into account uh versus the upside versus the downside now we haven't had the crypto hammer fall yet uh and uh hex has been correlated to that so far but if we get special events in the ecosystem that may offset that and uh we get an appreciation so we'll see how that goes uh in the next uh couple of weeks i'm very excited though very excited on the uh talk of the town about uh, the ETH proof of uh sorry the ETH proof of stake testnet v3 uh coming that'd be a lot of fun all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that we're going to wrap up a bit earlier today um and uh, let's see who else arrived in the channel uh, we've got Andrew Reynolds in the house. Happy Thursday, all, and good to see you as well, Andrew. Uh, PSI says, I want to understand Hex better. The workshop sounds cool, says PSI. Yeah, we're going to be looking at doing that uh, with Fat Semi, probably Brian as well. Uh, Brian on, has onboarded so many people to Hex, it's crazy. So big shout out to Brian, he's not here at the moment. Hello, Hex Token, and everybody says Sandy Beach. Always good to see Sandy Beach, one of our moderators as well. Uh, Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Um, uh, the PSI says, start of a good run into Christmas for ASIC. And yeah, I think we talked about that too. So cool. Uh, Katie says, thanks, Superman. Are hey, you welcome? Uh, Katie, Katie, also another moderator in our chat. And of course, uh, a Texan token moderator too. So good to see Katie in the house. All right. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that. We're going to finish a little bit early. I'm going to try and do a lot more short form videos. I keep saying that, but I did start it. And then I kind of got distracted by certain things. But I'm going to try and do a lot more short form videos. So I uh, look forward to that content on the channel, particularly for people that have a little amount of time uh compared to watching live streams you know uh what's it randy alaski does live streams i do live streams uh consistently um uh maddie allen does live streams consistently uh and then uh, i think uh, uh jim rat crypto and and um and sam stolt do live streams consistently i think probably the four most consistent on top of that we do have other people doing different formats like uh, uh and some a couple of the other channels as well so uh kind of cool a big shout out to everybody out there keep up the good word and of course, check out hex.com. Pulse chain's coming. And uh, I think we're going to potentially, once we get through the 15th of December, we could have quite a fun time. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we go. Hopefully, all of the uh, dominoes uh, play, all, was it? All the all the coins land on heads. I don't know, something like that. All right, take care, everybody. And uh, let's play out the final rap. I'm going to pick up some funky music. Uh, it sounds like we need a bit of dance music to play out. So let's find something cool. Uh, there we go. All right, take care. Bye for now. Subscribe, like, share, hit the bell. See you in Discord. Bye for now. Here in my $3,000 Valentino Rockstud purse, my $3,000 Prada jacket, $2,000 Prada shirt, two or $3,000 Prada pants, Prada glasses, Prada hat, Prada bracelet, and it's all Prada, 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 Prada shirt, Prada hat, Prada glasses. Prada pants. And it's all nylon, so the haters' tears fall right off. Right off. Right off. Right off. Prada, 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 Prada shirt, Prada hat, Prada glasses, Prada pants. And it's all nylon, so the haters' tears fall right off. Right off. Right off. <laughs> Little bubble, let me ride that rocket.